Hello, I am Dr. Sudha from Government Science College, Autonomous, Bengaluru. In this session, let us get ourselves introduced to partial differentiation. Before going to partial differentiation, let us recapitulate ourselves to the differentiation of a given function with respect to a given variable. So let us see what is the introduction to this. We are all familiar with differentiation of a function y with respect to a variable x. That is to find dy by dx whenever y is equal to f of x is given. That is y is a function of the variable x. So let us see some examples. If y is equal to x square, then we know that dy by dx is equal to 2x. Similarly, if y is equal to sin x, then dy by dx is equal to cos x. Suppose if y is equal to log x plus e power x, then dy by dx is equal to 1 by x, that is derivative of log x plus e to the power of x because e power x remains same on differentiation. Now let us go to the partial differentiation. What about the derivative of function of several variables with respect to one of the variable? It is known as partial differentiation. Let f of x comma y be a function of two variables x and y. How to find derivative of f with respect to x? What is the notation? Similarly, how to find the derivative of f with respect to y? And what is the notation? The partial derivative is denoted by the symbol which is a curved D. It is pronounced as del D partial D curly D daba do. F is a function of two variables x and y. Differentiating f of x comma y partially with respect to x gives us do f by do x and this is the notation used to the partial derivative of f with respect to x. Differentiating f of x comma y partially with respect to y we get do f by do y and this is the notation used to represent the partial derivative of f with respect to y. There is a compact notation for first and second order partial derivatives. Do f by do x is written as fx that is f suffix x and do f by do y as fy. Similarly, the second order partial derivatives do square f by do x square is written as fxx while do square f by do y square as fyy and the mixed derivative do square f by do x do y is written as fxy. Now let us go through the techniques and rules. The symbol do is used whenever a function with more than one variable is being differentiated but the techniques of partial differentiation are exactly the same as for ordinary differentiation. The rules of partial differentiation is essentially the same as ordinary differentiation. The product, quotient and chain rules 
may be applied. As in general rule, when calculating mixed derivatives, the order of differentiation may be reversed without affecting the final result. Now let us look into the points to be remembered while differentiating partially. If f of x comma y be a function of two variables x and y, partial derivatives of f with respect to both x and y can be found out, while finding partial derivative with respect to x, that is while finding dou f by dou x, y is kept as constant. That is, whenever we differentiate with respect to x, the other variable y is kept as constant. Similarly, while finding partial derivative with respect to y, that is dou f by dou y, we need to keep x as a constant. Now look us, let us look into the rules are points to be remembered while a function of three variables x comma y comma z is a function f partial derivatives of f with respect to x y and z can be found out while finding the partial derivative with respect to x that is dou f by dou x both y and z are kept as constant while finding the partial derivative with respect to y, that is dou f by dou y, x and z are kept as constants. Similarly, while finding the partial derivative with respect to z, that is dou f by dou z, both x and y are kept as constant. Now let us uh, solve some examples. Find the partial derivatives of f of x comma y equal to 12x plus 5y plus 7 with respect to both x and y. Let us see the solution given f of x comma y is equal to 12x plus 5y plus 7. First let us find the derivative of f with respect to x that is let us differentiate f with respect to x. Since we are differentiating with respect to x, y is being kept constant. Since y is constant, 5y is a constant plus 7 is also a constant. So we need to differentiate 12x. So on differentiating, we get dou f by dou x is equal to 12 into 1 plus 5 into 0 plus 7 that is also 0. We get dou f by dou x is equal to 1. Similarly, let us differentiate f with respect to y, keeping x as constant now. So we get dou f by dou y is equal to 12x is a constant, it becomes 0. 5 into 1 plus 7 is a constant, it becomes 0. So we get dou f by dou y is equal to 5. So this is how we find the partial derivatives of a given function with respect to the mentioned variables. Now let us see one more example. Find the partial derivatives of f of x comma y which is equal to x y square plus e power x into y plus phi with respect to both x and y. The solution given f of x comma y is equal to x y square plus e power x into y plus phi. First, let us differentiate f with respect to x. So we need to keep y as constant. Since y is a constant, when we are differentiating with respect to x, in the first term you have x, so x becomes 1 into y square. So 1 into y square is y square. In the second term, e power x on differentiation, we get e power x into y, which is a constant. So e power x into y, whereas phi becomes 0. So dou f by dou x is equal to y square plus e power x into y. Similarly, let us differentiate f with respect to y, now keeping x as constant. 
since x is a constant so retain x as it is y square on differentiation gives us 2y plus e power x is a constant retain that as it is y on differentiation gives us 1 so e power x into 1 plus 5 5 is a constant it becomes 0 so dou f by dou y is equal to x into 2y plus e power x now let us find the partial derivatives of f is equal to 3x into cos y plus 5 into e power x into y plus x square minus y with respect to both x and y. Solution given f of x comma y is equal to 3x into cos y plus 5 into e power x into y plus x square minus y. First let us differentiate f with respect to x keeping y as constant. So we get dou f by dou x is equal to 3 into x, x becomes 1 on differentiation into cos y because cos y is a constant. So we get 3 into cos y plus 5 into e power x on differentiation gives us e power x into y, y is a constant, retain it as it is plus x square becomes 2x minus y, y is a constant so it becomes 0. So we get dou f by dou x is equal to 3 into cos y plus 5 e power x into y plus 2x. Now let us differentiate f with respect to y, keeping x as constant. So we get dou f by dou y is equal to 3x is a constant, retain it as it is. Cos y on differentiation gives minus sin y plus e power x. E power x is retained as it is. 5 is a constant. Y on differentiation gives us 1. So 5 e power x plus x square. x square is a constant now. It becomes 0 minus y minus 1 because y on differentiation gives us 1. So we get 3x into minus sine y plus 5 e power x minus 1. That is dou f by dou y. Now let us find the partial derivatives of f is equal to x square y cube plus x sine y plus y e power x plus 2x minus 6y with respect to both x and y. Solution. Let us consider the given function f which is equal to x square y cube plus x sine y plus y e power x plus 2x minus 6y. First let us differentiate x, f with respect to x, keeping y as constant. So we get dou f by dou x that is equal to x square on differentiation gives us 2x, y cube is a constant, retain it as it is, plus x on differentiation gives 1, into sin y, sin y is a constant plus y is a constant, retain that as it is e power x on differentiation gives e power x plus 2 into 1 because differentiation of x is 1 minus 6y, 6y is a constant so it becomes 0. So we get dou f by dou x is equal to 2x into y cube plus sin y plus y into e power x plus 2. Now let us differentiate f with respect to y keeping x as constant. So we get dou f by dou y is equal to x square is a constant, retain that. y cube on differentiation gives us 3y square plus x into sin y on differentiation gives cos y plus y on differentiation becomes 1 into e power x plus 2x. 2x is a constant now, it becomes 0, minus 6 into derivative of y that is 1, so we get minus 6. So dou f by dou y is equal to x square into 3y square plus x cos y plus e power x minus 6. Now let us look into the question, find the partial derivatives dou f by dou x and dou f by dou y where f of x comma y is x cube y square plus log x y plus e power x plus cos y. 
the solution is given f of x comma y is equal to x cube y square plus log x y plus e power x plus cos y. First, let us differentiate f with respect to x keeping y as constant. Since y is a constant, we get dou f by dou x as when we differentiate x cube, we get 3x square into y square, retain that as it is because it is a constant now, plus log xy. Log xy on differentiation gives us 1 over xy and derivative of xy with respect to x gives us y because x becomes 1. Plus e power x, derivative of e power x is e power x plus cos y. Cos y is a constant, therefore it becomes 0. So we get dou f by dou x is equal to 3x square y square plus 1 over xy into y plus e power x. Here we can cancel out y and y. So we get 1 by x. Similarly, let us differentiate f with respect to y, keeping x as constant. Since x is a constant, we get dou f by dou y is equal to x cube. It is a constant, retain it is as it is and y square on differentiation gives us 2y plus log of xy. So log on differentiation gives us 1 over xy into derivative of x into y with respect to y. Keeping x as constant, we get as x. Plus c power x, it is a constant now, it becomes 0, plus cos y. Cos y on differentiation gives us minus sin y. Here x and x can be cancelled out. Therefore, dou f by dou y is equal to x cube into 2y plus on x cancellation we get 1 by y minus sin y. So this is how we find the partial derivatives of a given function of several variables with respect to the given or mentioned variables. That is when f of x comma y is given to us, we can find the partial derivatives with respect to x as well as y. Thank you.